After his recent slump in form, many feel that Red Bull might be looking for alternatives to having Sergio Perez in the team alongside Max Verstappen. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko has now clarified to F1 Insider why that is not the case. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, whether Checo is good enough is not an issue for Red Bull. Marco started off by responding to suggestions that Red Bull aren't too worried about Checo's form. We also take those seriously, but if you look at it simply, Perez is doing what we ask of him. He contributes to the Constructors' Championship, and when he is at his best, he can also win races. He summed up his words by explaining why it isn't an issue for them. The question of whether he is good enough is not an issue for us. After all, Verstappen is only getting better, and then you have to ask yourself, who is the alternative? Is there someone who can challenge Max? I honestly don't think so. Fast feed. McLaren's Oscar Piastri thinks it is the inconsistency from track to track. We seem to be a bit up and down at the moment, but we are working on that. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner feels that it must be frustrating for Sebastian to see how Aston Martin is doing this year. The truth is that without him, they wouldn't be where they are this season. He has shared much of his successful experience, and now that he is not in Formula 1, he will be enjoying time with his family. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff explained that obviously there's more people involved because there's Lewis's management, lawyers on our side, and it is never down to me alone. But, I would say that when it comes to the nitty gritty details, the things that are important, Lewis and I spent an afternoon together in New York sitting on a sofa. There wasn't any beef, but a mineral water. Red Bull's reserve driver Daniel Ricciardo feels that with Max Verstappen the speed was there. It was then just kind of cleaning up the edges. Naturally that comes with experience and maturity. I think he's now that person. He's a complete driver. Hopefully he doesn't keep getting better because the level he's at is pretty good. Oliver Hoffman, member of Audi's technical development board, has confirmed that Neil Jani will be their development driver. Neil Jani added that it is both an honour and a great responsibility to be involved in a project of this magnitude at an early stage. Does Red Bull have a realistic alternative for Checo? If so, who? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.